Welcome to Jason's Tech and IT videos. I really don't want this channel to become about easy file, but uh, here we are again. And we'll see that it's time for easy file to update. So if we click the update button and we make a backup and we click OK and we let it go through its paces. You'll see it brings up an error message. Sorry, an error has occurred. The application cannot be installed due to a certificate problem. Now there's two ways to fix this issue. The first issue would be that you could turn the time back on your system to a time when the certificate was valid. Uh, so that probably could be somewhere in the middle of June. But uh, that for me is not really a great solution, especially if you're in a corporate environment. Uh, mainly because if you're using software like Pastel and Caseware, uh, that can trigger some protections built into the software, and which you would need to contact the support provider for assistance in getting the application working again. To fix this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to SARS Easy File, and we're going to download the newest version of Easy File. Now, I really hate that I have to type stuff in here. I don't know how many fake profiles I have with SARS. Uh, but yeah, they seem to always want this information. And a junk email address. So I agree and proceed. And while that's downloading, we can go to control panel and actually do what we need to do. So just make sure your your icon view at the top here is set on icons. Uh, if it's on category, you probably would just need to go to programs and install a program. I prefer the classic view. So I'm going to large icons, programs and features. And we're going to have a look at some of the software installed here. So the first thing you want to remove is easy file. So we click easy file employer, we click uninstall click yes and we'll wait for that to uninstall and then we'll then we'll click easy file fw which i think stands for forms window and we'll click uninstall and then while we're here there's another side note if you don't have zulu jre if you have azul jre you'll need to uninstall the azul jre uh, the main reason being that if you don't have this specific version of java on your machine your exports of the certificates will end up as zero kilobytes and basically zero kilobytes means that no information has actually been exported so the application has downloaded and we'll just right click the folder there we'll say extract all and once extracted we'll double click setup employer that's a very strange one. Let's just click more info and click run anyway. Just click yes on the UAC prompt and then we'll click next. I accept, install, yes, whatever. Our Adobe Air is up to date. That's great. We shouldn't see any warnings about Java here because we have the correct version of Java installed and we can just click continue there and we'll see that the application could not be installed because an application with that name already exists in the selected lo installation location, which is pretty. <laughs> so that was pretty weird. So we'll need to go back to our C drive, back to program files, x86. We'll right click this easy file employer folder. We'll click delete. Don't worry, your databases aren't installed in that install folder. So there's no need to worry about that. And we'll just go and we'll click the installation program again. Say next and we'll go through the process one more time. Dope Air up to date, Forms Viewer is up to date now. Yeah, that's fine. We'll say continue. And just like that, easy file is installed. And as you can see, it is definitely installed. 
if yours ends up looking like this, you might just have to uh, restore your backup. In my case, I didn't have any databases left. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.